This is Five Places, Los Angeles, a podcast by the LA Forum for Architecture and Urban Design. I'm Emmanuel Bourlier, and in each episode, I ask one inhabitant of Los Angeles about the five places that define the city for them. You may recognize some of the people I ask and some of the places they mention, but in the making of this living documentary of the city, we will discover new people and places, and most importantly, their stories. Part of what makes LA beautiful is is that kind of ugly beauty. Sorry to be so cliched, but let's talk about the LA freeways. You know, going to buy meat in downtown LA, like under a bridge, you know, is this kind of like where all the meat packing plants are. Like it was a like, very central experience. I moved to LA because of Godzilla. <laughs> that is great story. The skate park was that place after school that we could go to that we were pretty much allowed to our own like devices. And I just find it one of the most iconic restaurants in LA, just that sunken bar, the kind of career waiters, um, the style of old school food, you know, the blue cheese olive martinis. I mean, the, the booths, I just live for like a martini in a booth. I found out that it was Led Zeppelin's party house. I came of age in LA. You know, I, came, I came, became a teenager. I, I went to all ages discos in the 70s, and, you know, in various scenes in the 80s and 90s. This music scene is, is kind of like um, related to the birth of West Coast jazz. Um, it's where bebop music is being played and, you know, people like Charlie Parker. It's just a rectangle folded on its side. But it, like when you put it on your head, it creates these hat ears. So like that. So it's a cat. The other thing I appreciate about the tar pits is that, you know, they kind of smell. And L.A.'s forefathers thought, you know, this is a really great place to put our museum. So let's put our <laughs> priceless objet dart. <laughs> <laughs> on this like stinking methane filled oily site <laughs> where the mammoths died. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Coming from the East Coast, jaywalking all the time. And if you jaywalked on Main Street and got a ticket, you could bring it into the omelet parlor and they would give you a free meal. After dancing late at night and then, you know, staying up late enough to get flowers in the morning. Did you, if you don't mind me asking, mm -hmm. Did that relationship work out? Yes, that's, that's actually <laughs> my husband now. <laughs> like there's places that you go to that just feel like they haven't changed and they're dying, or is this place feels like you found a pocket in time? It's a really great question. Well, I'm is, eager is to learn. we should go into? Yes. Okay. Let's, okay. let's get into the five places. To hear the stories of these people, places, and many others, please subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also visit us online at fiveplaces.la. Five Places is produced by Anneli Garakani, Quinn Wynn, Jaina Zweiman, and me, Emmanuel Bourlier, for the LA Forum for Architecture and Urban Design. We recorded on Chumash, Keech, Tongva, and Mekanakan land. Special thanks to Nina Briggs, Jessica Fleischman, B. Murphy, and Anne Predock. Thank you for listening. I was like, where, where else can you see this? <laughs> that is very L.A. <laughs> it's very L.A.